Hello viewers, and welcome to Noble Tech. In today's video, I'll be looking at the Just Call Me Coco Marauder version 7. The Just Call Me Coco Marauder version 7 is a powerful, portable device that's built for wireless reconnaissance, war driving, and ethical hacking. Whether you're a red teamer, a student, or just RF curious, this board packs serious capability into a compact form. In this video, we'll break down the hardware, firmware, setup, and do a live demo. Plus, I'll share how it compares to other boards like the AWOC Dual Touch and the AliExpress Marauder clone. The Marauder version 7 is built around the ESP32 and includes a suite of features tailored for wireless security research. These features include Wi Fi and Bluetooth receive capabilities, modified ESP IDF stack for 802.11 Freedom, integrated GPS module a dual SMA connectors for external Wi-Fi and GPS antennas, micro SD slot for saving PCAPs, a LiPo charging circuit with onboard JST connector. It also has a 2.4 inch TFT screen, which is non-touch due to the five-way tactile switch for menu navigation. It has a big red power switch. And as you can see, it has an on-screen battery fuel gauge. The enclosure is 3D printed by AWOC Dynamics and it's impressively solid. The tolerances are tight, the layout is clean, and it feels purpose-built for field use. In regards to firmware and functionality, the Marauder version 7 runs the open-source Marauder firmware, which is actively maintained and packed with features. The features include Wi-Fi scanning and deauthentication, Bluetooth device discovery and spoofing, GPS logging and war driving. It also has PCAP saving to SD cards for post-analysis and firmware updates via either the SD card or USB. The Marauder version 7 merges the best of the version 6 and mini boards. By skipping touchscreen logic, it frees up RAM for deeper scans and larger datasets, making it more efficient for serious recon work. When you first receive the Marauder version 7, setup is straightforward. You'll need a 3.7 volt LiPo battery with a 2 pin 2 mm pitch JST connector. Just Call Me Coco recommends the 50 40 50 model. But be careful with polarity, reversing it can damage the board. So this battery I have here in front of me does have the correct polarity. So we've got the plus and the minus. In this case the positive is red and the negative is black. If you do, please double check the battery before you install with a multimeter to make sure that the polarity is the correct way around, because if it is not, it may damage the Marauder version 7. I will note that before purchasing a battery, please do your research, but I will leave a link in the description to the batteries that I purchased. The Marauder version 7 also comes with a high quality Wi-Fi antenna and a very high quality GPS antenna. As you can see, I don't quite have a GPS connection yet, but I am indoors. If I go outside, it gets a connection very quickly. Okay, so let's run a quick demo of the Marauder version 7. I've got it powered up, so let's go to Wi-Fi scan. Now I will have to blur the results of this so I don't dox myself. But if we go to Wi-Fi, and if we go to Sniffers, and if we scroll down, you'll find the option for scan access points. And as you can see straight away, it's getting results. The longer we run the AP scanner, the more results we will find. We can also do Bluetooth discovery. So if we go to the Bluetooth menu, again, select sniffers. And then if we select Bluetooth sniffer, it will start populating with Bluetooth devices in the local area. Again, I will have to blur this out to make sure that I don't dox myself. I would just like to point out that during the recording of this video, I've not had a GPS signal. Now, when I went outside before, I got a GPS signal immediately, but inside I am struggling to get a signal today, not because of the device, but because it's a very overcast rainy day today, and I think that's affecting the signal overall. Otherwise, I would have done a little demonstration of the GPS, but beyond what you can see on screen, the GPS does typically work very well, and I do usually pick up a signal even in this room. What are the pros and cons of the Marauder version 7? The pros are that the Marauder version 7 is a fully featured Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS toolkit. The Marauder version 7 also has open source firmware with active updates. 
You can save your PCAPs to an SD card. It has an on-screen battery gauge. It comes with SMA ports built in for both the Wi-Fi antenna and the GPS antenna. And it also sports a very nice quality GPS antenna. If you disregard my terrible camera skills, you'll see that the Marauder version 7 has a much better screen and better battery life than the AliExpress Marauder clone. The Marauder version 7 also has excellent build quality in comparison to the AliExpress clones. I'm not sure if you can hear this, but this feels kind of cheap plastic, whereas this feels very premium plastic. In terms of cons for the Marauder version 7, I can only think of one which is to get the device you need to pre-order and the lead time can take up to three months. I'm not currently sure when the next batch of pre-orders will be launched, but I hope soon. In my opinion, this device is ideal for ethical hackers who do Wi-Fi and Bluetooth recon, red teamers mapping networks, and it is a very capable device for war driving with GPS logging. It's also a great device for students and educators exploring wireless protocols. It's not a toy, it's a serious tool for learning and testing wireless environments responsibly. So, is the Marauder version 7 worth it? If you're looking for a portable open source wireless analysis tool with GPS, PCAP logging and a clean interface, it's a strong contender. And let's be clear, the build quality is excellent. It's on par with the AWOC Dual Touch version 3, with tight tolerances, solid soldering and a well-designed enclosure that feels professional and field ready. Compared to the AliExpress clones, the version 7 offers a better screen, larger battery and more reliable GPS integration. In my opinion, the Marauder version 7 is excellent for recon, logging and education. It's quite outstanding. If you're serious about wireless security research and want a device that's both capable and well built, the Marauder version 7 absolutely delivers. To update the Marauder version 7, all you need to do is go to the Just Call Me Coco ESP32 Marauder GitHub, scroll down to where you see the beautiful skull icon, and select the link, latest release. Now, as you can see here, we have a list of all the devices that are supported. In this particular case, we know we are using the version seven. So we need to make sure we're using the version seven bin. So we scroll down to the latest releases and you can see here the Marauder version seven file. So all you need to do to update the Marauder is download this file, plug in your SD card to your computer, transfer this file across, to your Marauder. And then once you've copied over to the Marauder, make sure you change the file name to update.bin, ensuring that the .bin file extension remains. Once you have copied over that file and updated the name, plug the SD card back into your Marauder, scroll down to device, and select update firmware. And then the Marauder will take care of itself and you'll have the latest version of the firmware. And if we take a look at the Just Call Me Coco website, we can see that they have an exciting announcement for the C5 adapter. That will be in four days and five hours as of the recording of this video. As you can see on the website, they also sell a range of products, including some very nice looking t-shirts. And I also believe they have some hoodies on the way. So taking a look at the Marauder C5 adapter, we can see that this is a Flipper Zero board, which you can plug the ESP32 C5 into. If you want to know more details on the ESP32 C5, please see one of my previous videos on the Tron ESP32 C5 case, which was running with Ghost ESP. On the Marauder C5 adapter, the ESP32 C5 will be running the Marauder firmware. The Marauder C5 adapter is a very exciting product as it will allow us to do dual band Wi-Fi on the Flipper Zero running Marauder firmware. We've been waiting for this for a long time and it's very exciting. Not only does the adapter allow you to plug the ESP32 C5 directly into the Flipper Zero and run Marauder firmware, but it also has onboard GPS and a micro SD card slot. Hopefully I should be getting one of these in for review very soon. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment if you want a teardown, firmware walkthrough, or a side by side comparison with any of the other Marauder devices. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay curious.